hello everyone and welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be talking about the differences between IR1 and CR1 if you are joining me for the very first time please subscribe to the channel when you subscribe turn on the notification bell icon so each time I upload a video you will be notified in this video, we're going to be talking about the differences between IR1 and CR1. Stick around. Welcome and welcome once more. Please subscribe to my channel. We got to 4,000 subscribers. I want to appreciate every subscriber at this time. Please continue to come around. Leave a comment, like, and make sure your notification bell icon is, is turned on. So whenever I upload a video, you, you will be notified. In this video, I'm going to be talking about IR1 and CR1. Now, if you've been watching my videos, at, at one point I might have mentioned the difference, uh, the differences between uh, these two visa categories for family preferences. But in this video, I'm going to be making a point. Now, when a US citizen gets married to their spouse and the, their spouse immigrates to the United States of America after two years of them being married, then their spouse will be getting the IR1 visa. The IR1 visa is the immediate relative visa, and this means they have finished their two years conditional, the two years conditional status that keeps them awaiting to get a direct three years green card. The IR1 status makes the spouse to get a three year green card. So after three years of stay in the United States, they are eligible to filing for citizenship. Meanwhile, the CR1 is different. So when a spouse comes to the United States with a CR1 visa, it means that they moved to the United States before they completed a two year of being married. So when they are married less than two years before immigrating to the United States, the spouse get a CR1 visa. With the CR1 visa, you are not eligible to file for citizenship after three years as the IR1 visa. So you, you're going to have to wait for five years, then you will be eligible to apply for in, uh, citizenship. So the, the differences between the IR1 and CR1 is simply the time the, the immigrant moved to the United States after them being married and then the time they will have to wait uh, to make them eligible to apply for citizenship. Now, these are the main differences. If you like the video, please subscribe, like, and share. 